In this video, we are going to build a transistor motor driver on breadboard. These are the components which you need for this experiment. A breadboard, 9 volt battery, a DC motor, BC547 NPN transistor, a push button switch, 1 kilo ohm resistor, and some jumper wires. I'm going to start by connecting my BC547 transistor to the breadboard. I'm going to connect the emitter of the transistor which is this one to ground next I'm gonna place my 1 kilo resistor to the base of the transistor and the other lead goes to the blank spot on breadboard connect my push button switch one lead of the switch will be connected to the resistor and the other lead goes to the positive rail of the breadboard. Then I'm going to extend the collector of the transistor with the jumper wire. And I will connect my DC motor to the breadboard. This side of the DC motor goes to the collector of the transistor and the other side goes to a blank spot then I will connect this blank spot to the positive rail of the breadboard we are done with the setup of the circuit I'm going to connect my 9 volt battery to the circuit and let's test it As I press the push button switch, the current flows through the resistor and through the transistor, which makes the transistor on. Since the DC motor is connected to the collector of the transistor, the DC motor is also turned on, along with the LED, which I soldered it to the terminals of the DC motor. I will do it one more time. Let's see. I'm gonna start by connecting the BC547 transistor to the breadboard. The left leg is the collector, the middle one is the base, and the right one is the emitter. Next, I'm gonna connect my LDR, light dependent resistor, to the base and emitter of the transistor. Then I'm going to place my 100 kilo ohm resistor to the base of transistor and to a blank spot on breadboard. Here is my LED. The longer leg is going to be my anode or positive and the shorter leg is going to be the cathode or negative. I will connect the cathode to the collector of the transistor and anode to the resistor. Next, I'm going to connect my buzzer to the LED so the negative terminal of the buzzer goes to the cathode of the LED and the positive terminal goes to the anode of the LED.
Next, I will connect the resistor to the positive rail of the breadboard and the emitter of the transistor to the negative rail of the breadboard. Finally, I will connect my 9 volt battery to the circuit and we are done. Let's test it. Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to build a water level indicator on breadboard. The components which we need for this experiment are a 9 volt battery, a breadboard, three BC547 transistors, three 330 ohm resistors, three LEDs, and some jumper wires. I'm gonna start by connecting the transistors to the breadboard. The left leg is going to be the collector, the middle one is the base and the right one is the emitter. Next, I'm going to connect my resistors to the collector of the transistor and to the positive ray. So here is my collector and here is the positive ray. Now I'm going to connect the anode of the LED, which is the longer leg, to the emitter of the transistor. Then I'm going to connect all the cathodes of the LED to the ground or to the negative ray. Now I'm going to connect my buzzer to the circuit. The negative terminal of the buzzer goes to the ground and the positive one goes to the base of the third transistor. Now I'm going to connect the bases of the transistors with the jumper wire. The other side of the jumper wire remains unconnected. Next, I'm going to connect another jumper wire to the positive rail of the breadboard and the other side remains unconnected. I'm going to connect my 9 volt battery to the circuit. We are basically done with the setup of the circuit. I have changed my yellow LED to white LED since my yellow LED wasn't working properly and it was damaged. So, I have my glass right over here and I'm gonna place the remaining jumper wires inside of the glass. I'm gonna start by connecting the first jumper wire coming from the positive rail of the breadboard. And I will place it at the bottom of the glass. The second jumper wire, I will connect it similarly. I will place it on the bottom of the glass. Now for the next remaining jumper wires, I'm going to place the jumper wire which is coming from the second transistor at the half of the glass in such a way and the third jumper wire I'm sorry the fourth which is coming from the third transistor will be at the top of the glass 
Now I'm gonna slowly pour water inside of the glass till the level of the first two jumper bars. As you see, the blue LED turns on. I'm gonna continue to the level of the second jumper bar, which is at the middle of the glass. The second LED is also turned on. Now it's time for the third uh, LED. I'm gonna pull it till end of the glass. And as you can see, I'm gonna now it's better. So right now our three LEDs are turned on, and since the buzzer is connected to the third transistor. And the third transistor is also turned on because of the Y over here. We can we can hear the sound from the buzzer. These are the components which I'm going to use for this experiment: a breadboard. LED, two 10k ohm resistors, two 1k ohm resistors, two BC547 transistors, two push button switches, some jumper wires, and a 9 volt battery. I'm gonna start by connecting my transistors to the breadboard. Then I will connect the positive rail of the breadboard to the collector of first transistor next I'm going to connect my emitter from the first transistor to the collector of second transistor these are my push button switches I will place them on breadboard Here is my 10 kilo ohm resistor. I will connect it to the one side of the push button switch and the other side goes to the base of first transistor. Similarly, I will do this for the next resistor. This side goes to the one side of the push button switch and the other side goes to the base of second transistor. I will connect my one kilo ohm resistor to the emitter of first transistor and the other side goes to the ground the second one kilo ohm resistor goes to the emitter of second transistor and the other side goes to a blank spot on breadboard i'm going to connect my push button switches to the positive rail of the breadboard this side goes to the positive rail and this side goes to the positive rail. Finally, I'm going to connect my LED, the anode, which is a longer leg, goes to this side of the transistor, and the other side of the LED, which is cut out, goes to the ground. I will connect my 9 volt battery to the circuit. So we are basically done with the circuit. Now I'm gonna check whether the circuit works. When both switches are open, it means if I don't press them, there is no current flowing through the transistors right over here and the LED remains off. If I press either one of these switches, let's say this switch, the respective transistor connected to it will turn on. In this case, it could be our second transistor. But since the transistors are connected in series to each other, there is no current flowing through the first transistor and the LED remains off. Now if I press the both switches at the same time, there is going to be a current flowing, flowing through the both of the transistors right over here. The transistor will be turned on and hence the LED turns on. 